We're here with Northwestern State softball player Cassandra Barefield, one of three seniors on this team. As you gear up to face Nichols, it's it's the home regular season finale. Um, I'm sure a lot of emotions for you guys, especially you three as, as seniors. When you think about this weekend and, and you think about that moment getting recognized uh, um, after, after Saturday's games, what do you think that's going to be like? It's going to be a dream come true. You know, we've worked our whole lives trying to just – get to this level of competition and all, all three of us have, you know, we've gone di different paths, you know, one from California, went to Monroe at first, and then we all came here and somehow we're just all bonded together and now we're going to graduate together. You've really left your mark here, um, certainly as a team you guys have, but individually as well, um, you know, with the home run record. And uh, what is it about your game and what, what is it that you think makes you so successful at, at hitting the ball out of the park? <laughs> um, relaxation you know, they really talk about you know clearing your head clearing your mind before you get in the batter's box and you know I try to do all the thinking outside of the box and like in practice and stuff and they're really good about you know getting us there getting more cuts you know really fine-tuning our swings you're you're one shy of 50 career home runs now and again as the program's all-time leader um, what sort of maybe marks do you set for yourself in, in terms of goals is there a specific number you want to hit maybe not home runs necessarily but just kind of across the board statistically? Um, you know, it's just about getting the game done. You know, my job is to move the runners or to get the runners in. You know, we all have a specific job when you get done. And at that time, if that's what's needed, then that's what's needed. You've tallied 168 hits uh, since you started here in 2012. It, are there any of those that really stick out in, in terms of memory? Um, yeah, hitting the mark for, you know, career home run record, it was a very special moment. You know, when you round third base and you hit Coach Pickett's hand, you see that big smile on his face. It doesn't really happen that often, but it was a good feeling. When, when you think about that moment, was it something you were very aware of going into it? I actually did not know that I was even close to the home run record the, when I tied it at first, and then after that, it just kind of came natural. So you, in addition to your success at the plate, you have played uh, a little defense kind of all over the place. Uh, and at third base, uh, we've got to talk about that. So two years ago, Brittany Virgo goes down with an injury in the Southland Conference Tournament, and you end up playing third base. Um, talk about that. What was the conversation like with, with Coach Pickett? And did you volunteer for it? How, how did it all pan um, out? I did not volunteer for it. Uh, we actually got to Baton Rouge, and then the day we had our practice, they kind of gave me some drills, put me at third base, and said, all right, you're ready to go to third base. And you always see Brittany in the dugout standing right there, like telling me, bun, watch the bun, making sure I knew what was going on. So did she give you any advice uh, prior to that? Uh, stay low. Stay you know, low? Man. And how, did it work out okay for you? It worked out. I caught a line drive, and I got an out for first base, so that was fun. <laughs> uh, when you came into this program, uh, certainly you guys have had a lot of success the last couple of years, but you, you came into this program, and... Um, you guys hadn't had a, uh, a winning season in, in conference play the four years prior, and it had been a little while longer than that since the, the last uh, tournament championship. Um, what was that like uh, coming into this program at, at that stage, and, and what were some of those challenges? Um, there was a lot of girls on the team at the time. We had, I think, six or seven freshmen. Um, Coach Pickett, you know, he Never get, got really frustrated with us, but he always really encouraged us to do our best to get out there and really just play with all that we had. You, you came from a sci-fair program, too, that, that had a good amount of success uh, in postseason play in particular. Um, when, when you came in here, um, was it was it difficult for you? I, I, nobody nobody likes maybe not losing, but not winning as much as you guys wanted to. Um, you know, it's kind of how it happened. Um, I was, you know, we always went out there, we loved our team, we played like how we knew how to play, and you know, it fell short for us. Mm -hmm. um, you have, uh, uh, you know, been honored by the Southland, been honored by the LSWA, um, in terms of, and, and certainly the high school accolades as well, uh, are there any of those that really stand out to you? Uh, no, you know, I'm just trying to play the game. And when I get awards, you know, it's a great honor. You know, I really thank the teammates and the coaches for really helping me out and helping the team. And, and just kind of lastly, you guys have won, uh, for the first time in program history, won the last two conference tournament champions championships, but you haven't won the regular season yet. Is that 
how much of that is discussed, if, if any, and, and is that any additional motivation for you guys? You know, we really want to win the, the conference. You know, it's, it's a next step to winning conference tournament. And I think this year we have a lot of heart on this team and we're young. And I think that, you know, with the heart and, like, how we play, we work hard and whatnot, I think we'll come together. Well, Cassandra, we really appreciate your time and, and wish you best of luck here, not only against Nichols, but the remainder of the season and, and some postseason action as well. Thank you.